how a lot of people become truly successful because they have dedicated a significant amount of time to their product. Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys an updated of how I am staying productive with keeping a full-time job. Shit is hard, so let's get into this. So the first thing that has been, ooh, showing show the goods. So the first thing that has been really helping me with staying productive and trying to stay motivated while keeping a full-time job is podcasts. I have ventured into this recently and it has been one of the best things I have done. And I'm gonna switch over so you guys can see some of the things that I'm listening to. So I just recently got into it, guys, right? But it's so dope because I drive to work about 30 to 40 minutes to work a day and then home. And I'm in this phase of my life where I want things that are feeding my soul because I want more. I want to elevate and I want to take my life to the next level. So podcasts have really been the shit right now, right? So I have been listening to all of these and the one that I've really been digging on is the Gold Digger podcast and Dead Ass. I really love them. And of course, my girl Sarah Jakes. You can't. You just can't. All of these things are speaking life into me. And you have to find things that uplift you, especially when you're feeling unmotivated and you're not inspired. I literally yesterday was listening to a podcast by the Gold Digger about being multi-passionate because I am passionate about a lot tell you guys that all the time on my platforms. And her um, podcast that I listened to really gave me a lot of clarity. So that's one way I stay productive in elevating my life. So I have a super busy life. So I have a journal and a planner. In my planner, I put all my bills, my dates, any uploads that I need to put on there. As you can see, it has bullets for the days. That keeps me on track and it allows me to stay focused. And in my journal, I'm able to jot down any thoughts and ideas, especially when I'm sitting at my desk and an instant thought comes to mind or I just like to write down my mood, as you can see in a lot of them and affirming what I really want. I'm truly passionate about a lot. And if you don't manifest and affirm what you want in your life, you will never get it. So I just love to start my day with my journal and my planner. Maybe funny. Number three way I am productive with my full time is at lunch, I go and sit in my car. Like, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but if you do, I do a lot of mini chats in my car. I go to my car for my 30 minute break to get clarity. Sitting in the office can be so draining, especially when you work with people who just want to talk about work all the time. And this is a great way about being not only productive, but messing with your self care and your mental because you want to have a great mental when it comes to being productive. So you have to find ways that make you 10 times more productive. And I have learned taking more breaks, if you can at work, help you. So for me, I go in my vehicle and I sit in my vehicle. I have my journals or my notebook and I'm listening to a podcast. I'm just clearing my mind of different things and it gives me a better outlook to get through the second half of my day. So those are kind of my quick little tips that help me to stay productive with having a full-time job. Having a full-time job is truly a blessing, but if you are like me who is very multi-passionate, you know, you have to find ways to make you feel productive along with aligning with your goals outside of your job. And that's the most important part about it. You have to manifest and speak life into everything that you want. It, you have to express gratitude for your now so you can appreciate all the beautiful things coming your way. And by journaling, you know, writing to-do lists and sticking to those to-do lists and by having time increments will truly help you to become more productive and it will allow you to accomplish a lot more when you set a realistic to-do list. And do this every day. Don't waste time on those tasks because all small things add up to bigger things, especially while working a full-time job. And you can even write your full-time, I mean, you can even write your to-do list 
at work if you have a desk job so that when you get home you can work on those things that's how i'm able to edit my videos and film them for you and last but not least just you have to sacrifice time to play. You know, you want a life. You are planning for a life that you truly want. So you have to find time to do so. It will require a lot of sacrifice and dedication in order to get there. That's, that's it. You know, that's how a lot of people become truly successful because they have dedicated a significant amount of time to their projects, eating by sacrificing, you know? When you get home, you know that you have work to do, you know, do things for the kids, have your partner help you out. You know, this is a team effort. It takes a village sometimes. And even if you don't have that village, don't be discouraged that you can't accomplish things. Just find time in your day. That's why it's so important to prioritize your day and to see what is exactly happening. And don't waste time. Tell people, no, you cannot do this right now. You have your future that you are trying to obtain. And that's what matters the most. And write it out in your journal. I want to be here. I will be successful. I'm manifesting great things you know you have to speak life into it and think about as if you already have it have it and that this is something you're already in a position to do and to help others if that's the case so guys hope you like this video this is how i stay productive while having a full-time job it can get hard but you know what I have goals that I want to obtain and I know I will get there because I'm so grateful for my now that my future is looking fierce. <laughs> so until the next video guys, hope I see you and always remember to stay positive and stay grateful in this journey of manifestation.